Hi, it's Andrea from Yoga Lounge and Bar. I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on a few standing poses that you can actually do on your mat, on the ground. So if you have any ankle injury perhaps and you think that you can't do yoga, there are ways that you can do those standing poses with the support of your mat beneath you across your whole body. Though you might not be working balance per se, you'll still be working on um, some of the stretch that each pose in, um, initiates. All those benefits could be even more accessible while you're on your back on your mat. So first pose is a tree pose. It's so simple to do on your mat on your back. So we'll get to it. All right, so you'll be nice and long on your mat here. Maybe your hands are at your hips. And why don't you go ahead and flex your ankles. You're engaging your whole body. Even though you're not standing, you're still engaging. You're pulling the kneecaps up towards the hips. All right, let's place the sole of the right foot on the inside of your calf, so the inside of your left leg. This is tree pose, right? You also have the option of bringing it all the way up into the upper thigh, right? But up to you, depending, maybe you don't have much mobility in that hip, or it just feels better to you today to place the sole on the inner calf, perfectly fine. Also, reach arms overhead. And here, it's a great way to notice, look at how I'm popping out my ribs. I might be doing them, that when I'm in tree pose standing. So here, pull the low back to the mat and maybe notice, oh, I shouldn't be bringing my arms straight overhead because I tend to pop out my ribs. I wanna keep that spine towards the ground, right? And then you do the same thing on the other side as well. Another pose is big toe pose on your back. So to get there, you can squeeze that right knee in towards the chest. Right hand can reach, maybe peace fingers reach for the big toe. You could come to half happy baby here, right? Or you could just keep the knee in line with the ribs and then press through the heel. So this is making sure that our left foot is still flex, so not point to ballerina toe or just like hanging out there. We are extending through that leg, pretending like we're standing up. Now notice here with my shoulder, I want to draw the shoulder down into the mat. I don't want to be reaching up forward. So for me, I need to bend my leg a little bit. And I might notice that when I take standing big toe pose, um, that maybe I'm reaching a little too far forward because I still need to open up this right leg, right? Left arm can be wide on your mat, right foot opens up, so we're taking big toe pose on our back. Still, continue to flex the left foot as if we're standing, right? Option, gaze goes left, right? So that's standing big toe pose on your back. Another option is dancer pose. I'm gonna take a modified one. Here, I'm gonna come onto my right side. Um, right arm extends towards, uh, on the ground, straight out in front. So your whole body is straight here. Left hand will reach for the left ankle. Here's a modified dancer pose on your side, right? And you can always pull back on that foot as well. Great opportunity here to think about how much you're bringing the knee away from the body. We really want to draw that knee in towards the center line of the body. So maybe just practice this pose. So you're not floating that knee up, right? Really want to pull it in. So there we go. Dancer pose, big toe pose, and tree pose. All on your back, typically standing poses. But um, like I said, if you have an injury or anything like that, that might not allow you to be balancing on one leg, do these poses. You'll achieve most of the same benefits. All right, take care guys.